I got a question from Callan Metricate on Twitter who wrote and asked this. Almost every video I upload, I always have the exact same audience retention drop. Any idea of why, Tim Schmoyer? Yeah, I got a few. Let's talk about them. Come on up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. But you're not reaching people if they all leave your video a few seconds after clicking play. Why does that audience abandonment happen so quickly at the beginning of so many videos and what can you do to fix it? There's a lot of different things that could be happening, but since you indicated that this is happening consistently on every video, there's a few things that I would look at first. Number one, make sure you're titles and thumbnails are not misleading in any way. What could be happening is someone clicks on that title and thumbnail because that title and thumbnail sets a certain expectation for a value they're going to get or a story they're going to see or something and they click and then the opening seconds are just kind of like not reaffirming for that viewer that yes, the value you clicked expecting to see is coming in this video. It's like there's some sort of disconnect or maybe the title is just misleading or something like that. There has to be a strong connection between the the title and the thumbnail and the first opening seconds of your video. So don't make a title and thumbnail about something that happens maybe eight minutes into your story or at the end of your video thinking it's going to entice people to watch. That might work for your subscriber base, but for non-subscribers, like the people who are trying to get into your content, they're going to be like, what? That is not what I clicked on. And they're just going to be confused and leave. Kind of going along with that is make sure that the title, the thumbnail and the opening seconds of your video set some sort of expectation or, or create some sort of intrigue for the viewer like, oh, I need to know what happens next or, oh, I need to like learn about this thing he's going to talk about. A third thing to evaluate is maybe you're not opening your videos with any hook at all. Maybe you're starting your videos immediately with some sort of long branded intro thing or maybe you start with like introductions and hey guys, how are you? Welcome, like blah, blah, blah. And it's like 15, 20 seconds into your video before you even actually even start getting to any of the value that was teased in the title and thumbnail, right? Because better audience retention leads to higher watch time, which leads to better performance of the video across all of YouTube search and discovery avenues and mechanisms, it's really important that we figure this out. So one of the things that I did is I actually asked my producer, I said, can you dig through all my videos and see what are the common trends that you see are leading to abandonment in my videos? I highly recommend that you do something like this on your channel as well. Study those audience retention graphs. What is happening in each of those videos? What are the trends that you start seeing that are that are consistent across your videos? Because I know for me, it's really easy for me to get into a rut and start doing the same things over and over again in my video without realizing that it's turning you guys away. Through this exercise, we boil down the top four things that lead to our audience abandonment with you guys here on my channel. And they are this. Number one, I need to keep changing up the background of my video. Whenever I do that, you guys, tend to pay more attention. So if I'm hopping in my car, doing a car vlog, I'm walking outside, I'm, you know, as long as it keeps changing, that the environment keeps changing, you guys apparently like that. Number two, I learned that I have to keep my hooks to under 15 seconds. If I take more than 15 seconds to try to tell you guys what's coming up in the video and tell you why you should watch, you know, you guys are like, eh, you're trying too hard, Tim, and you're out. Number three, we learned that after my intro, I need to get into the content very quickly. I can't waste a lot of time building up into it with stories or examples or anything. Go. You guys just want the hard, dirty details of ASAP. <laughs> and number four, I learned that any video of me standing in front of my computer, sharing my desktop screen and walking you through something tends to do terribly. So no more of doing those videos. I wanna hear from you guys what you learn by doing this exercise on your channel, because I wanna learn from you and I want everyone else here in this community to learn from you as well. So comment down there below what leads to audience abandonment on your videos. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe because the video creators were just all about helping you grow your YouTube audience and so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives and increasing your audience retention will absolutely help you do that. So thank you for letting me be a small part, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again on Monday. Bye.